Hi, this is Game Audio Toolkit, where we look at ideas, approaches and implementations for game audio. And this time, we're going to see if we can do something about this. And welcome to my work from home studio overhaul. And sorry about the mess. I'm putting the desk in the middle of the room. And I'm also replacing the cardboard box that keeps cables off the ground. That's because we have a Mika hopping around. And bunnies are very curious. They explore the world in smells, little nose bumps and... Well, she's also been a big fan of exploring my MIDI cables. And finally, it's a really good opportunity to clean up as I have unwanted interference and noises on my recordings. It's very subtle, but if you listen to the top end in this, you can perhaps make it out. And this is that noise isolated. Now part of that is the cork at full volume. But there's also noise when the screen changes or hard drives are active. On these examples I've gained recordings by 30 dB. So first things first, where is it coming from? It's audible when there's a connection between the audio interface and the synth. Break the connection and... I went online and found four different solutions. And first up are these, clip-on ferret high frequency filters. Without these the interference is still there. So they do something to reduce the problem. Here's a spectrum analysis still of the recording with ferret clips. Without. You can hear that the pattern has come back too. So something is happening, but it's so subtle it might actually just be a coincidence. Next up, a clean box that Jim Croft kindly donated for testing. Now I was super psyched after hooking this up, as the sound had much improved on headphones. The difference is more pronounced than with the ferrite blocks, but is that simply due to signal loss? The box is after all created to eliminate ground hum, not interference. Next up is a mains conditioner. It aims to tackle the problem from the outlet. It has a transparent window with what looks like a ferret core. However, I didn't trust the build quality of this. And for me, it sadly made no difference. Finally, this is a Furman power conditioner, and it is the most expensive option tested. It's also the one that works. When turning the cork to full volume and with 30 dB amplification, there are just noises that come from the analog internals. Now, was this a scientific test? <laughs> not even close. I've not been meticulous in checking results multiple times or ruling out other factors. <laughs> However, for me this got rid of an annoyance, and the noise has not come back on newer recordings. The only one not entirely convinced by this is Mika. There's not enough MIDI in this solution. <laughs> 